The Federation's rise to power had started years ago, when the great energy-producing deserts were destroyed. The world powers that depended on them collapsed, and in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner, and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy. Getting hungry. You don't want to eat anything out here, boy. Let's head back and get you some real food. 6 1, zip red. Just some local wildlife. We're good. Check. We're moving up to RV, sir. Copy. Yeah, we'll join you. Meet us at the wall. We're on our way out. Raj. There she is. Looking like hell. Still standing. Yo. Sergeant, your area secure? Just about. Sweep this side of the wall for good. Take the left side. Should go quick. Regroup at the gas station. You got it. Executing civvies. Move in, move in! Riley, go! Light him up! I can't get a shot! Lay down to pressing fire! Contact, one o'clock! Can't get a shot! He's out of my line of sight! Talk 
You're on transport. Roger, commandeering for transport. Logan, you're on security in the back. Come on, we gotta keep moving.
Sergeant. Go find the old man. Dad, I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Always. Walk with me. Dad, they're executing civilians. I know. Their recon teams round up scavengers, drifters, hoping to find a way into the city. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad. Listen, you boys. You're the only thing I've got left in this world. Dad, listen. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look. Whatever it is, Logan and I, we're ready. You two are going to no man's land. Wait, for real? We've been on the defensive for far too long. So I'm sending you outside the wall. You'll link up with a recon team, gather any intel you can on the enemy, and get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home. Dad told us few men got to operate in no man's land. It was too dangerous. Too unpredictable. If he was sending us out there, it must have been important to him. Still, I couldn't help but think this was another one of his tests. A lesson he was trying to teach us.